What are the key trends that you see in app development tools, and what can we expect in the toolscape, say, the next three to five years, do you think? It is really more about putting more, I think, control and giving developers more information so they can make better decisions. With mobile, you really do need to worry about things like performance. So, you know, we're constantly, you know, trying to give uh, developers more information, better tooling around that. I do think there's an interesting opportunity to bring designers and developers to let them work better together. Mm -hmm. So we're exploring some different things from an R&D perspective. How can we, you know, bring those two worlds together in the most efficient way possible? Because we do believe that designers have such a new and central role um, in building apps today, more so than they did in the past. Mm -hmm. So Abe, next three to five years, what do you think the trends will be in tools? Well, I think they're all going to go HTML5. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you took my answer. <laughs> we could agree on that. <laughs> yeah. And the reason I say that is, is because you take a look at the, you know, the viable candidates for number three in the space, mm -hmm. and they're all pretty much standardizing on HTML5 as a developer strategy. The other thing that we, we see as being uh, a trend uh, is, is going to be a, around just how do I delineate my data versus someone else's data on, on these devices? How do you make mm -hmm. sure that you know, the, there's a clean separation between what's mine and what's, what's part of my job? And around tooling, we're just going to see um, pretty much parity with what native brings to the table as far as developer tools. So next three to five years, Doug, what does it look like from your perspective? Well, I'm going to get really rich in the next three to five years. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> Here's but not you. doing what I'm doing now. Um, <laughs> I, I have to echo what Abe said, that the, the power of uh, HTML5 is going to increase, and that means that the complexity is going to increase, and we're going to have to have good documentation to deal with that. On the, on the data point, I would be remiss if I did not mention uh, W3C's idea of linked open data, uh, because there's private data sources and there's public data sources and actually having the same framework that allows you to access both of those, having the skills translate into uh, using both those sources, either government data, for example, or, uh, or private data. Uh, I think data is going to be a really big part of the web going forward. New things are always happening. It's pretty exciting. <clears throat> I agree, agree a lot with Nolan about the data feeds becoming more and more important and involved in just about every single app people who are creating apps today really are programmers. I mean, they're professional developers. I actually think with extra tooling and evolving standards that people we wouldn't call programmers yes. are going to be able to create their own app. Yeah. You know, somebody who, who never took a computer science course, doesn't know what a loop is, is going to be able to write a useful function by combining various data feeds. Yes. And, and it's their own private app. It's not something that they're going to sell yeah. in a store. They might share with their friends. And, and I think it's really just going to democratize development.